Honorable Advisor and Chairman, this Mukokchung District Planning and Development Board, Sri Tumpang Otsuka, respected Deputy Commissioner, Sri Tulusi Boji, Administrative Dignitar Officials, Dignitaries, Vice Principal of Anali College, Sir Vinod Kumar, invitees, my dear colleagues, students, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all to the first ever Mega Job Expo 2024, organized by the Mugukchung District Planning and Development Board and the District Skill Committee. It is indeed a pleasure and an honor to have you all here today. We are also privileged to partner with IDAN, Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland, Fazali College, and Business Association of Nagas for this event. To begin with our inaugural program, I would like to request Mr. Tushi Sanglier, Youth Secretary of Optis Arpumongta, to kindly pronounce the invocation. Shall we pray? My most loving God, we thank you. For your goodness, we thank you for your blessings. But most importantly, Lord, for giving us this beautiful day for us as we gather here this morning. As we look forward, oh Lord, to your blessings, we pray that these two days will be a time when young people find, oh Lord, their calling. I pray, dear God, that for all those seeking, just as you have promised, Lord, that they will find their calling as people gathered to build a community, to build this beautiful state, and to build this state. We pray, Lord, that you will grant them discernment, wisdom from above, O oh Lord, so that even as they choose their careers, as they choose, O oh Lord, what to do with their lives, we pray they will find meaning and purpose. For all those agencies led by our government and private enterprises, dear God, I, will pr I pray that they will continue to make this possible for our young people so they find a place in the history. And as we look forward, O oh Lord, to your leading hands, I pray, dear God, that you will make this time a blessed one. We commit all the events, the speakers, and this program into your care, for we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I would now like to give the time to our Deputy Commissioner Sri Tsilwise Buche, who is also the Chairman of the Planning Committee for the Welcome Address. Thank you the host of today's event, inaugural event. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to the first ever Mega Job Expo 2024, Mohok Chung. I, on behalf of the Planning Committee on this Mega Job Event Expo 2024 would like to extend a warm and hearty welcome to all the people gathered here in this morning. The partnering companies and institutions, the participants, and everyone present here. It is indeed an honor 
on my part to get this privilege in welcoming our distinguished guests as we are starting, as we start the first ever mega job fair here in Mokjung. I would like to give a brief note on how we started before we go to that. We are grateful and honored by the presence of our Honorable Advisor and MLA, Sri Tongpang Osakam, who is the advisor for water resources, Nagaland, and also the chairman of District Planning and Development Board. So we're grateful to you for keeping your promise to be with us here today. With your presence, we feel that we have achieved in the first place our dream we could realize it is because of your continuous support and advice that we could see the day of this event taking place at this moment in spite of your busy schedule your official works you have set aside and come here to be with us, to be a part of this auspicious occasion. In fact, a red letter day for the organizers and for the district of Mohokjung, as we could organize this first job expo, keeping in mind of the aspirations of many youths that we have in our district, as well as from all parts of Nagaland. Thank you once again, sir. We would like also to extend our warm welcome to all the partner companies, delegates who have come from different places. As we have today, our partnering companies and institutions, 28 in number, one international company, three from mainland India outside of Nagaland, and the rest, 24 numbers, from within Mohokchung and Nagaland. The main event partners for this Mega Job Expo, we would like to welcome and extend our appreciation especially to the Business Association of Nagas, BAN, IDAN, Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland, and Fazal Ali College, who are hosting today's event. In fact, two days event, today and tomorrow. We're very grateful to all our partners who have come from different places, in fact, our event partners, they have come on their own. They, we could provide only the logistics. Every expenses that has incurred, their lodging, their traveling, even their food, they're paying on their own. So we're really grateful from our heart for taking part in coming to a place far away in this very location, Fazal Ali College. We're grateful to you and we extend a warm welcome to this trade expo. We have our logistic partners, that is the Assam Rifles. They have given everything to be a part of this program for the success in bringing all the participants, delegates from different districts of Nagaland. And we have media partners. The media partners are Mohokshum Channel, TV channel, 
the Tiu Yim Yim and Morong Express. We extend a warm welcome and appreciation to the media partners as well. I extend my warm welcome to all the HODs of government departments within Mokchung headquarters as well as from the subdivisions who are all here gathered today for this event. We also welcome the Ausenton, Watsamungtang, the Ekiem, the village authorities of uh, Chuchumpang, Chuchu village students who has given volunteers for today's event, invitees, the participants of uh, today's inaugural function as well as in the two days mega job expo the prospective employees as well as job givers that is the different companies and institutions uh, we did an online registration for the participants until 9 30 a.m. this morning, we had 562 interested candidates who have registered online. And then we have a good number of participants, job seekers, who, as we have this program, there is a continuous on spot registration. We are glad to inform that. Uh, among all the districts, notably, we have 45 participants from Shamarod district, the youngest district, as well as 35 participants, job seekers from Mon district. And then we have a good number of participants from within the district, that is Mokjung and a good number of uh, participants from all over Nagaland. This Mega Job Expo 2024, it was the initiation of District Skill Committee. When we approached the District Planning and Development Board, Mokjung, for this event with an idea. We are very grateful to say that the District Planning and Development Board led by the present chairman, Sir Tong Pang, Honorable Advisor, readily accepted the proposal which was sub submitted by the District Skill Committee. And we are very grateful to announce that the District Planning and Development Board is the main sponsor for this event. In fact, indeed, we are very grateful, sir, for making this event possible. It is because of your generous gift and efforts and advice that we could see the day event possible today. I <clears throat> hope and I believe that as we kickstart this event, that there will be a productive exchange between participants and the representatives of different companies and institutions. And I hope that as we participate, we will feel inspired, especially 
the job seekers on different career paths that mega job expo 2024 introduces to you all once again i on behalf of the planning committee welcome each and every one to this auspicious occasion and i pray and hope that as we continue till tomorrow this event will bring a substantial amount of job offers and opportunities from all the participants who have come with great hope and aspirations thank you once again god bless I would now like to give the time to Engineer T. M. Listenup Ao, Secretary of Planning Committee, to kindly take his time for the keynote address. Good morning, respected Chairman and District Planning and Development Board Advisor Water Resources, Deputy Commissioner Mokok Chung. President Ban Business Association of Nakas and Team, Aitan, Steam Job Providers, Financial Institutions, Assam Rifles, Al Senten, Watsa, RKM, Lanar Tolongchum, Village Council Chuchuyumbang, Principal Faculty and Students of FSC Media. Medical professionals, churches, Colonel Joy and Dean, program participants, principal of all the institutes and colleges, and esteemed DPDP members and hosts. I'm honored and delighted to deliver my keynote address on the inaugural program of the Mega Job Expo 2024 with the theme Connecting Careers. Today we witness the true power of collaboration and unity as all then elected, elected representatives from Mokokchung, along with the, all the government departments, the armed forces, the business association, the press club, media, NGOs, student bodies, medical professionals, churches, association, colleges, and institutions, all joining hand, hands to support this initiative is truly commendable. With around 562 online registration and total of 1,500 1, participants all over Nagaland seeking opportunities for employment and financial literacy and 28 esteemed recruiters and prominent financial institutions, this even stands as a testament to the aspirations and dreams of our community. This expo is designed to encompass three pivotal components, the enthusiastic job seekers, aspiring entrepreneurs, and skilled exhibitors. Together, these elements form the backbone of our event, fostering an environment conductive to growth, development, and fruitful connections. I would like to express my gratitude to the District Planning and Development Board for initiating and sponsoring this program, make, marking a significant milestone as Mokokchung hosts this event for the first time. The venue, Fazali College Mokokchung, has been instrumental in providing the space and all support for this momentous occasion. As we embark on the journey of opportunities and possibilities, I encourage all participants to engage wholeheartedly, to learn, to share, and to embrace the spirit of innovation and growth. Together, let us seize the potential that lies within this expo, empowering ourselves and our community for a brighter, prosperous future. Thank you, and have a great day.
Thank you, Secretary Planning Committee, for the Ginod address. Before we proceed further into the program, at this moment, the Planning Committee would like to acknowledge a few individuals and organizations for their participation in this event. I would like to call upon the individuals and the organizations, one after the other. First and foremost, we would like to acknowledge the presence of our honorable advisor, Water Resources, Sri Tongpang Uzukum, who is also the chairman of the District Planning and Development Board. Sir, if you may kindly receive our small token. Secondly, we would like to acknowledge our event partners and we would also like to acknowledge the recruiters, recruiting organizations. So I'd I would like to request any one member of the organization to kindly come and accept the gift. Firstly, the Business Association of Nagas. Fazal Ali College, <clears throat> Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland. Our logistic partner, 12 Assam Rifles. Our media partners, firstly, Mukokchong Channel. Dear Yim Yim, <laughs> the Morong Express. Next, I would like to call upon the recruiting organizations that are here with us today. As mentioned, I would like to request any one member of the organization to kindly accept the gift. Firstly, Emporium Training and Consultancy Private Limited. SPIL Property Solutions Private Limited. Mm -hmm. 
if they are not around. Uh, next, so Dexo India Private Limited. Nagaland Women Vocational Training Institute, Dimapur. Longpok Holdings, Mukokchong. Animation and Graphics Academy. <laughs> Unati UNXT. Northeastern Development Finance Corporation Limited, net fee. Next, we have State Bank of India, Mokokcho. Arms in corporations. <laughs> Nagaland State Rural Livelihood Mission, NSRLM. Bhawani Marketing Private Limited. <laughs> PLS Auto Shell Industries Private Limited. PLS Auto Shell Industries Private Limited. Talent Acquaintance. Pinnacle Skills. Symbios Creations. <laughs> Symbios Green Energy. And Symbios Auto.
Next, we have the Mukokchung Municipal Council Apertor. The National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NABARD. <laughs> Employment Provider, Dimapur. Doka Multipurpose Cooperative Society. Doka Multipurpose Cooperative Society. Christian Model High School Walker. Meta Jobs. Naga Education Private Limited. Naga Education Private Limited. Life Insurance Corporation of India. Life Insurance Corporation of India, LIC. Stanford Management Private Limited, India. And lastly but not the least, Mr. Tushi Sanglier, Youth Secretary, our Baptist Arukumungtam. Our immense gratitude to the event partners, media partners, logistic partners, and all the recruiting organizations. The event would not have been possible without your presence here today. At this moment, we will now hear short speeches. First and foremost, we will hear the speech from Vice Principal Fazalali College, Mr. Vinod Kumar, followed by Mr. Mongom Jamir, President, Business Association of Nagas. And lastly, we will have Mr. Takumi Ishiwatari, Japanese teacher, Arms Naglan Center. I now give the time for the short speeches. A very good morning to all. Honorable advisor, water resources, government of Nagaland and chairman of district planning board Mokshang, Sri Tumbang Musakam, respected deputy commissioner and Mokshang district administrative officers and staff, dignitaries, invitees, participants 
and my dear students. I, on behalf of Fazali College, warmly welcome each and every one present as co-host of this Mega Job Expo 2024, an initiative of the Mukshan District Planning and Development Board and District Skill Committee. Firstly, I take this opportunity to express our deep gratitude to the DPDB and District Skill Committee to, for giving us a chance to be part of this noble event and especially to host this event in our college. Fazali College as an educational institution feel privileged and honored to be part of the event towards skill-based opportunities. The Mega Job Expo 2024, in addition to providing employment, will provide an opportunity to reflect collectively in implementing practical programs, strategies, and policies to empower the upcoming generation towards skill-based and vocational courses and financial literacy. These are very much highlighted and essential as part of NEP 2020. So I hope that our students also will take this opportunity to learn various skill opportunities, skill trainings available at least in and around the state. Education is the core of one's career advancement. But at the same time, every person possesses a unique skill and ability to access opportunities depends on how well one is equipped educationally, professionally, and skill-wise to grab, the, grab such opportunities. With the growing pressure for employment opportunities and the restrictive government jobs, many have turned to explore new avenues. However, the limitations of the awareness of lack of skill-based trainings deters the progression of the unemployed youths or the pressure to get any government job. No job should be considered inferior or superior, whether it is private or government employment. There is an enormous need of skilled candidates in the job market, and all you have to decide is, this is your time. Dignity of labor is one such perspective. If one is determined to have a progressive life and break the shackle of not to be far away from home. To be successful in life, you need to climb the ladders of pain, struggle, and moments of sacrifices. And here you are, the opportunity in your hand to decide whether to be independent and successful or remain undecided for the future. Lastly, I would like to encourage the participants and the students present to grab the opportunity provided here as I put in this challenge, arise, be decisive, be bold, and achieve as your future awaits. May my best wishes to one and all. May God bless all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I bring greetings from Business Association of Navas, and I wish you all a very happy new year. Our honorable advisor, Sri Tongbang Uzukam, 
advisor of uh, water resources. Our deputy commissioner, Sri Chivise, Sri Imli Sinap Ao, secretary of this uh, organizing committee, the principal, vice principal colleagues, staffs of this Fazali College. Mr. Takumi, Japanese teacher. Mr. Pia Tiatams, uh, member of planning committee. Mr. Tushi Sangdir, secretary ABAM. And all the participants, particularly from the various companies and BSUs, and private sectors who had come to take part in this job expo. And my dear friends, young friends, ladies and gentlemen, short speech, when we say short, you know, it, it carries different meaning for everybody. For business like us, short means it can be either five minutes or it can exceed even one hour. So I think since the organizer has not given a specific time frame, just mention short, I will take advantage of that situation. So please don't mind, whatever time I take, that is going to be short for me. When I had been working, especially with band, I just would like to inform you that look, BAN, Business Association of Nagas, are a group of professionals who had come together and said, look, we are here to work for our people. We would like to do at least something for our people. And especially on the front of economic development. So I think we, we tirelessly work particularly on our you know, state's economic growth by building various, uh, various sectors. We go encourage various people. We work very, very closely with the uh, institutional. We work very closely with you know, banking sectors. We work very closely with you know, different ministries like MSME. And that's how we had been building the preachers so that if we can do at least something for the youngsters. I would like to just mention some few things regarding about the scenario of our job today. There's about 524 million, that is about approximately around 52.4 crore of labor forces which are here in India. And every year, there's about 15 million young people who in this, this particular job, labor forces. This are, this are uh, age group between 16 to 29 years old. And out of this 15 million people, there's about 65 to 75 percent job seekers who are not getting the job because, mostly because of the reason that there's no proper skills. And by 2030, I will, I will cite a lot of statistics. Huh? And by 2030, it is expected that there will be about 65% of the total population of India who will be in this job forces, labor forces, 65%. But even if we have so much labor forces, and these labor forces are usually considered from 16 years to 64 years of age. So even if we have so much labor forces, if we are not skilled, it, it means nothing for us. Because 
you will be unemployed or you will be unemployable. And that's a big challenge for all of us, especially for the youth today. We have to work very hard on that. Today, when we look at that scenario, you know, sometimes I worry, what are we going to do? We are talking about artificial intelligence. 40% of the jobs are displaceable. Look. 40% of the jobs are displaceable. And today, until and unless we are skilled, we will land up nowhere else. That is the scenario of what the job sectors are. In spite of the fact that Nagaland, when I, when I just wanted to you know, go on that line, I would also would like to compare our Nagaland scenario. There's an unverified sources, but it has been said that we have about one lakh unemployed youths. One lakh. And if you see that, the main reason is that skilling. It has been said that about 26% of postgraduates in Nagaland are not having jobs. In spite of the academic qualification that you have, just because you don't have the right skills, you are not industry ready. And that is where we are finding a lot of problems. I will cite one example, particularly again on the job sectors on our economic front. It has been said that in Nagaland, there's about 223,777, okay, 23,777 shops, out of which 17,055 shops belongs to non-locals, friends from outside. And there's about 6,755 only, which are being run by our locals. And I'm sure you know that number is going to come down because most of this are being run in the name of our locals by the outsiders. So, and if you, if you check that up, our GDP, our state GDP is somewhere around 37,000 crore. Now, now when we talk about when we talk about the real businesses, the shops, you know, the businesses that have been contributing to our GDP, it's about 72 percent. And if we just calculate that, the, the those businesses from outside are generating nearly around 20,000 crore. Okay, where we are now, 20,000 crore are being are being generated by this group. And this amount, this revenue, except for some few fractions of it, it just goes outside the state. That is one. Secondly, with about 17,055, if you just have an average, because there are companies, there are firms which are employing more than 100, 200 people. So even if you just take an average of about five people, in each of this, you are reaching out nearly around one lakh jobs which have been created. That belongs to you. But if you are not skilled, it will not come to you. Sure. Today, when I say, when I speak this, there are about, in, in another one year time, in another one to six years time, the students, I can see a lot of students over here, you will be joining the labor forces. And if you are not skilled then, you are going to be unemployed. And if you are going to be un if you are unemployed, the problem that it's going to create for you, for your family, for our society is going to be great. So what I'm, what I'm telling you ch children, my, my friends, by the time you finish off your academic I think you know you need to be looking around for your skilling 
in your certain domain area. That is going to be very important for us. When we really think seriously about our Nagas, I had been facing that problem in my company. We had been having people from our own people. We try to encourage them, but most of the time, you know, it's quite discouraging because of the fact that most of them who are coming in in our company, what do you do? Their legs are in two boats. One boat is in the common sector and one boat is in this company. And what is going to happen then? Even if we do an assessment, a appraisal, if we have two persons appointed at the same time, one from outside state or, or down local, then one local, after six months, if you, if you see the appraisal, huge differences. It's not that just because our people cannot do it. Our people can do much more better, but just because we are not committed to that. I will say this, among all the districts, I really appreciate, you know, the organizing committee. I appreciate this, uh, you know, district planning and development board for having this understanding that, look, today it's time for us to take care of our children. These dividends are going to be paid off. And I believe this dividends will be the largest dividends which, combined with all our districts, I think you will be doing it. I'm so happy for that. It is not only on that particular job mela, but I feel that next time it should be a regular basis. Next time I think skilling should come in. Skilling should come in. Start, start mobilizing that particular skilling sectors and then culminate at a job mela. I think you know, that is really going to pay off finally. My dear friends, you and you alone are the architect of your destiny. You are the master of your fate. You are behind that wheel of your life. There's nobody else that is going to, there's no one else that is going to leave for you. Mind you, there's nobody else. It's only you and you alone who is going to leave for yourself. It's you who is going to decide for your life. Nobody else will decide for you. And in a nutshell, what I'd like to tell you is that, look, nobody cares for you. Nobody. Except you and you alone. And tomorrow, the journey that you are going to start, the journey that you are going to have, you have to take that journey alone. And whatever decision that you make today will lead you to the future. So my children, I'm, I'm addressing mostly because of, I'm addressing mostly the children because I think it's for you. You have to decide for yourself. I'm so happy when I see that there are many, there are many uh, uh, participants from Samador, from Moon. Great. But when we are having it over here in Mogokchong, we should take that opportunity. If you don't take that opportunity, ultimately it's your choice, but ultimately it'll be you who will be losing it. Whatever may be the case, I think skilling is very, very important. So with this one small thing in my mind, and I wanted you to go back. All of us has a duty in our life. And I remember one saying, I slept and dreamt. I slept and dreamt that life is beauty. I woke and saw that life is beauty. Life is duty. I woke and saw that life is duty. That duty is there with all of us. with the students, with the job seekers, with all of us. As long as we understand that duty, we will be a partaker, particularly 
in increasing, in enhancing our economic activities in Nagaland. And one fine day, we will say that we are not a beggar, we are a giver. So thank you very much. And I, I really would like to thank our organizer for giving us this wonderful time. I would like to share things with our youngsters. There are many, many Naga entrepreneurs, very, very committed Naga entrepreneurs, who would like to even share their experiences with you. So, I mean, you are mostly a job seekers. And in case, even if you wanted to be an entrepreneur also, yes, you also have to be skilled. Thank you very much. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank, thank you very much for giving me a chance to make a small speech in this uh, Mega Job Expo. My name is Takumi from Tokyo, Japan. And I'm currently teaching Japanese at uh, Arms Development Center in Liverpool. And I have been teaching Japanese in some countries, first in the United States, and next in Russia, and next uh, Kazakhstan, and in Uzbekistan, and now I came to India, Nagaland, and teaching Japanese. I like to work in foreign countries. Uh, about 30 years ago, I taught Japanese in the United States. Uh, it's a very small university in the rural place in Pennsylvania. And there, in the university, I met three Indian people. One of them is pro Indian professor. His name is Kumar. He accepted a, an award from the university. He's, he's an excellent professor from India. And <coughs> I met two Indian students in the, in the university in the United States. And one of them, in the fourth year, he became the best student in the university. He got all a grade A. And another student, the next year, he also became the best student in the university. And they told me that it is very difficult to enter the university in India. So they came to, went to the United States. And it surprised me. Uh, the students who couldn't <coughs> enter the university in India went to the United States and became the best students in the, in the university. It means uh, Indian level is very high. And I thought also thought <coughs> that it, is, it may be a good idea to went to foreign country to find a way. And <coughs> now I am teaching Japanese in Dimapur. Uh, in the center, every day, students uh, uh, study Japanese. And, and for six months, it, it is a six month program. They, after finishing the program, they go to Japan for three years. and. In Japan, three years they work and come back to Nagaland. Well, in Japan, they can earn money. And, and one thing, Japanese language is not very difficult. Actually, British professor told me that Japanese grammar is simple. 
Therefore, <coughs> if you are interested in study Japanese and go to Japanese for three years to work, uh, we are welcome. Please come to Dimapu and study Japanese for six months and go to Japan for three years. Uh, and we are uh, uh, always welcome. Uh, thank you very much. A big thank you to all the speakers for encouraging and enlightening us with your wisdom and also sharing your experiences with us. If you'd like to know more about the Business Association of Naglet, you may meet uh, with the representatives after this session. And if you'd also like to know more about arms incorporation or more about Japanese language, you may visit their room, which is allocated at room A2 Arts Block. Thank you again. I would now like to request our German Mgokchung District Planning and Development Board, Sri Tungbang Uzukum, to kindly take his time for his speech. The leader of today's event. Dr. Limasunla Jamir, respected Deputy Commissioner Mukuk Chong, and all the HUDs from the district, members of the organizing committee, the district skill committee, servant of God, Mr. Tushi Sanglier, the Youth Secretary of APAM, program participants, President of Business Association of Nagas, Ugum Ungum Jamir, the employers from different companies, enterprises, institutions, Vice Principal of Father Little College, the faculties, the students, the job seekers present here this morning. We have leaders from the Apex organization led by the Ao Senten, council members from Chuchu Yimbang and Mogokchung Village, our friends from the media fraternity, my own trudge from different political parties, Ladies and gentlemen present here this morning. I also bring warm greetings to all of you on my behalf and on behalf of the District Planning and Development Board, Mogokchung District. We are so thankful at the outset to the District Skill Committee led by the Deputy Commissioner for organizing and coming up with the idea of having this kind of job mela in Mokokchung. And you have rightly said, this is the first of its kind in Mokokchung district. It is a wonderful initiative a significant and important initiative, I should say, keeping in mind the Nagaland employment situation scenario. Therefore, I would like to, on behalf of all the elected members of Mokjo District, I would like to extend our sincere appreciation to the members of the District Skill Committee for your initiative. We are also thankful to all the employers coming from different areas, different places, for positively responding to the request of the committee, the planning committee, to participate in today's mega event. 
I'm sure you'll get to fill up all the vacancies because we have almost a thousand, a thousand uh, job seekers already registered today. We are also thankful to the authority of Fazalali College, the student bodies, because of your support, your cooperation, this event has been successfully managed and being hosted here. And there's always the investment development of Authority of Nagaland, IDAN, the Business Association of Nagas, PAN, always guiding us and leading us. And therefore, on behalf of the TBDB, I would like to uh, again extend my appreciation to IDAM as well as the PAN. As rightly pointed out by the President PAN, if you look at the life register of unemployment in Nagaland, it will be touching around one lakh. It's nearing one lakh now. However, we all know in Nagaland, the government employment, despite a huge unemployment being registered, the government employment, we have reached a saturation point now. We are a small state, Nagaland, we know, but we have one of the highest government employees compared to other bigger states in terms of ratio. And that is how major junk of the developmental funds are being utilized or spent for the payment of the salaries. And therefore, the government of the day, we have started, we have started scaling down on the government employment. You all know. Of course, there are many opportunities still there. Up to the great sea post, there are many opportunities. But it is true, the proper recruitment process unlike in the past. And therefore, while you try for the government sector employments, I would like to encourage my dear students, my dear friends, you should also try to avail the opportunities that is being provided by the private sectors. I also worked in a call center in 2006. I was with IPM and uh, I was employed, hired as the customer care for the United Airlines. We were handling the email team. I have totally and thoroughly enjoyed my job, but I had certain plans. That's why I came back to Nagaland and joined the students', students organization because I had planned to join state politics. But I tell you, you will also enjoy working in a diverse environment. You get to know others. Others also get the opportunity to know us. And I'm telling you, my friends, you will know what is actually mean by work culture. What is punctuality? What is discipline? You will come to know. The salary that we get, we have earned every penny of that. You will know the the money value, Nagas, we should, we will know the value of money then working in a private company. There is a trend in Nagaland 
in Naga society, I should say, there is a trend. You study in good colleges and in institutions. You stay there for 10 years, 15 years. The moment you reach 34 years, you come back to Nagaland, saying that you are going to be over age. Therefore, even a great four boost will do. I don't understand that ideology. You are exposed, you are surrounded by opportunities. When you are there in Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Kolkata, why do you come back for a grateful post in Nagaland? I think it is time we have to remove this understanding, this perception. We have to move out from Mugukchung Kukon. Let us move out. Broaden our horizon and venture out. Let us earn outside and invest here in Mugokjo. It's about time. If you try, definitely you will get government sector employments also, no doubt. But you have equal opportunities in the private sectors as well. And seeing the, the participants today, I think I have a firm belief that from today onwards, from this moment, that understanding is going to come. That's a, that understanding is going to come. It's going to happen from today onwards. The district skill committee, under the ages of the district planning and development board, we have brought this opportunity into your doorstep. Therefore, my dear friends, Try to take advantage out of that. Today you will be settled with a job of your choice or that suits, that suits your, your skills, your talents. You also get a placement of your choice. You'll get the opportunity to interact with the employers from different companies one to one. You can raise any queries about the subject matter. You can clarify all doubts. I think you can even negotiate your salaries. I think it's a big opportunity and I don't want any one of you to miss this. I cannot agree more when the president of Ban says that skill is very important. We will take note of that. Today is just the beginning. It is just the beginning. Yes, the chairman of TBDB is being uh, rotated amongst us. We are only for one year, so by June this year, another chairman will come. However, this is, this is an agenda where I also sh uh, show much interest. Therefore, whether I remain the chairman or not, I'm always by the people, behind the people, and therefore, we will try to organize a bigger, it is also big today, of course, but in more organized ways. This event being the first in Naglen, there may be small hiccups here and there also, but I would request all the employers and the job seekers, our friends, to bear with that. But I believe out of this event, so many interested, the enthusiast job seekers will be benefited. So with these few words, I once again thank the District Skill Committee, the partners, the employers, and uh, the job seekers, especially those who came from Mon, from Shamatur. Special welcome to all of you, and I wish this event the very best. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for encouraging the young job seekers and also the students present here today. As we come to a close of our inaugural program, I would like to request Sir P. Tiatamsu, Member Planning Committee, to kindly say the word of thanks.
Thank you, host of the program. A very good morning to everyone, to the dignitaries in the dais, led by our honorable chairman, DBDB, and to avoid myself the embarrassment of not mentioning the important dignitaries and everyone here, I will not mention anyone in particular for which I may be forgiven. I am doing a necessary evil, necessary because this is going to be the only event, and so I have to say thank you here. And it's evil because nobody wants to listen, but then I'll be brief as much as possible. Uh, this program is an engine ignited by the District Steel Committee. It has been fueled by the District Planning and Development Board, for which we are thankful. And for housing it, we are thankful to Fazali College for giving us this place. And we're thankful to the Planning Committee led by our DC, Engineer Philip, our Secretary, Sherry Kitemchen, Chamir, TMM, as a member, Sir Lipu Konan, Chamir, Deputy Director, uh, SARS, Madam Apinio, and then uh, those were the members of the planning committee, and then in the documentation committee, we had faculty, Dr. Limasana here, Dr. Bandanganla, Dr. Mualamla, Lima Yapang, and Yapang, Longkomer, all were in the documentation committee, for which we're thankful. We're thankful to the Fazali College Students Union, Juju Mang Students Union, and the faculty, and the uh, SP, traffic, and the program logistic already have been mentioned by the Assam Rifles, Aidan and Pan, and all the <clears throat> 28 employers who have come here. As it is a learning process for ourselves, or as it's a job on the go, as we learn along, there will be certain inconveniences for which we apologize, and we assure you that we will be able to do it even bigger and better, like our chairman has promised, so we will try to improvise upon that in coming years. So to forgive us if there were any inconveniences. And to everyone gathered here, thank you. I want to take this opportunity and I want to apologize for two reasons. Why? First, because I will be taking a little more time. And second, because I want to apologize for the non-Nakamese speaker, because I want to speak in Nakamese. Not that I'm good in Nakamese, but for the benefit of all. My time yadi all of Lobo. Yadi moi chanai ti boli mon jato organization kon kon aise ki kam dia se ki man salary dia se aur ki qualification dia se apni kan all PGT dictator babu pare idu korne yadi moi chanai ti bo apni kan phal bro honi thagi bi aur yadi volunteers bi aise takan par dikhai di bo kothi chaboli lagye aur kon ki log kuro lagye apni kan poshan kon doala job poshan kore idu apni kan choni pare boli pare bo. Yeah, the first thing, Emporium training as a Emporium training to arts block the Tagibo, Tagan class twelve pass Kuina Kun Chun Kurubuli Monjai, Aviation, Hospitality or Cruise Line Day, Tagan last salary do fifteen thousand bar Logina, Ek Lak Tak Alakalakam Tagan training law visite, Ido Kungun, Ido Kam Pabo, Ido Anke, Ido Laga, job opportunity and idea say, Emporium training and consultancy, private limited. BSPIL para ani dia se housekeeper general duty food and beverages the tagan laga kam to Maharashtra Gujarat Tamil Nadu mat aro kesum kesum chakati hobo class nine and above aro tagan la salary do fifteen thousand five hundred per lugi na kun kun tadi kam hobo idu hobo aro all over India the tagan la kam hobo. So take super hobo hospitality and healthcare food and beverages aro tagan la kam to sat 700 over kam pabuli ase aro tade tagan la salary do 10 11000 10500 per lugina all over india di hobo class 10 pass kura kan ke idu kurubali parbo nagaland women vocational training institute kanbara 
তখন পড়া ট্রেনিং আলাক আলাক কেসম দে আর ওই দো ট্রেনিং তো সব ফ্রি আছে ডিমাপুর আর কইমা দে আর ক্লাস টেন আর ক্লাস এইট পাস হওয়া খান ইটু গ্রুব কাটিং টেলারিং বিউটি পাসকেটরি আর ক্রাফট জুট টেক্সটাইল হেন্ডলুম কেন পেম্পু ইটু খান লাগা করব লংপু হোল্ডিংস করে আছে লংপু হোল্ডিংস তো মোক সুন্দর লাগা তখন লাদু কাম দিয়ে আছে একাউন্টেন্ট একজন ট্রাফিক ডিজাইনার একজন রিসেপশনিস্ট টুইটা রুম এটেন্ডেন্ট ছয়টা শেফ টুইটা পিয়ার ম্যানেজার এসিস্টেন্ট একটা ড্রাইভার একটা এইটো কারণে আলাদা আলাদা কিছুম কোয়ালিফিকেশন লাগে আছে কোনো পি কম লাগে আছে কোনো বাদ গ্রেজুয়েট লাগে আছে কোনো বাদ ক্লাস এইট পাস হয়ে কিনা ড্রাইভিং জানলে এইটু বি লোক পাব তো লং বুক হোল্ডিং স্পেশাল কিনে যাব পাব এই দোকান তো আর্টস ব্লকতে আছে আইটান খান তো আছে আইটান খান বারো আলাদা আলাদা কিছুম কোম্পানি আনি আছে তখন বারো এজুকেশনাল লোন বার লো কিনা পড়িয়া খান তখন আলাদা আলাদা স্টাডি করবলে মন যাইলে এজুকেশনাল লোন দিব সি এস আর প্রজেক্ট আনি আছে আর ক্রিটেট লোবলে মন যাইলে তখন বার লিঙ্গেজ বনাই দিয়ে আছে আপনি বিজনেস স্টার্ট করবলে মন যাইলে আর আলাদা আলাদা থ্রি ডি এনিমেশন গ্রাফিক্স এইটু কান ট্রেনিং আলাদা আলাদা দিব তখন লাগা আর্টস ব্লকতে যাব লাগে এইটু আইটান বিচার কিনা যাব এনিমেশন এন্ড গ্রাফিক্স একাডেমি আছে তখন আর তখন আছে ইউনাটি ইউনেক্সটি ইউনাটি আর ইউনেক্সটি তো এভিয়েশন বয়িং পড়া সি এস আর প্রজেক্ট হিসাব স্পন্সার করে কিনা তাতে আনএমপ্লয়েড ইউথ এইটিন টু টুয়েন্টি ফাইভ ইয়ার্স পড়া লো কিনা তাদের করব পড়ব নেট ফি পড়া আনি আছে নেট ফি জয়েন দাগান আছে আর দাগান পড়া ফাইনেসিয়াল ইনস্টিটিউশন আছে আর বিজনেস স্টার্ট করবলে মন যায় লোন লোবলে মন যায় নইলে আপনি কিছু কিছু এন্টারপ্রাইজ করবলে মন চাইলে তখন কে কিনে করবো এই সুদিব এটি এস পি আই রিজনেল ব্রাঞ্চ পড়া আই কিনা আছে তখন কে তখন লাইফ স্কিম কি কি আছে কার্ম লাইফ স্কিম কি কি আছে আর তখন পেঙ্গিং পড়া কি কি ফেসিলিটি দেয় তখন ইয়াদি চিফ ম্যানেজার পড়া লোক কিনা আছে তখন পড়া এইটু কই দিব আর তখন লাগা তখন তো ইয়াদি নয় কিনা সায়েন্স ব্লকতে থাকিব এইটু সাইডে এইটু সাইড বিল্ডিং তো এইটু আর্টস ব্লক আছে তাতে আর সি সি নতুন একটা নতুন কি নয় পুরানা নতুন সব মিলাই কিনা ইয়ালো একটা থাকিব তাতে আর্টস সায়েন্স ব্লক আছে আপনি কারণ তাতে অপরটি যাব পড়ব এন এস আর এল এম আর তখন এন এস আর এল এম পড়া তখন আলাদা আলাদা এন জি ও আর তখন আলাদা আলাদা স্কিল লাগা ট্রেনিং দিয়ে আছে তখন বি আর্টস ব্লকটি হব ভবানী মার্কেটিং পড়া বেভারেজেস এন্ড ফুড সেক্টর সার্ভিসেস ক্লাস টেন লাগা অপরটি কোন কোন ক্লাস টেন লাগা পাস করে না আছে তখন তাদের যাব পড়ব তখন আর্টস ব্লকটি আছে পি এল এস অটো শেল খান পড়া টুরিজম হসপিটালিটি ট্রেনিং দিব এইটু বেশি হান্ড্রেড পার্সেন্ট প্লেসমেন্ট দিব আর তখন তো রুরাল ডেভেলপমেন্ট বার স্পন্সার করে আছে হলে বি এইটু খালি মাইকি লোব আর ক্লাস টেন পাস হব তো পি এল এস অটো শেল তখন বি ডিমাপুরটি প্লেস আছে আর তখন আর্টস ব্লকটি হব থেলেন্ট একোসিয়েশন তো এইটু সব এন এস আর এল এম লা আন্ডারটি হব তখন ক্লাস টুয়েলভ পড়া পাস হয়ে কিনা বি পিও টি দিব তখন না সালারি তো টুয়েন্টি ফাইভ টু থার্টি ফাইভ থ্যালেন্ট একোসিয়েশন তখন বি আইকিনা আছে তখন আর্টস ব্লকটি থাকিব পেনিকল স্কিলস পেনিকল স্কিলস তখন পড়া ভেকেন্সি হসপিটালিটি ট্রেনার দিয়ে গ্রেজুয়েট করে কিনা হসপিটালিটি সেক্টর দিয়ে কোন কোন ট্রেন করে না আছে তখন ট্রেনিং হব তখন ডিমাপুর জেনেপুর তো কহিমা পেরেন আর পোকাজান দে তখন জব রিকয়ারমেন্ট আছে আর তখন ট্রেনার্স তো টুয়েলভ থাউজেন্ড পড়া লো কিনা এক্সপিরিয়েন্স ওপরতে সালারি তো দিব সিম্পায়স ক্রিয়েশন তো তখন সিম্পায়স তো আমার আমেন স্পিকার লাগা স্যার বান লাগা প্রেসিডেন্ট লাগা আছে তার এইচ আর চিফ ম্যানেজার ডিমাপুর একটা পিলিং ম্যানেজার সেলস এক্সিকিউটিভ মন দে ফ্রন্ট টেক্স অফিস এসিস্টেন্ট এক্সিকিউটিভ মন আর জিনি পটো দে তখন এইটু ব্যাচেলার ডিগ্রি আর ক্লাস টুয়েলভ ক্লাস টুয়েলভ পাস এনেকা কিছু কিছু ডিগ্রি বাহানকে দিবলে আছে আর তখন আপনি কোয়ালিফিকেশন কিনে আছে এক্সপিরিয়েন্স কিনে আছে দুই সপ্তাহে তখন স্যালারি দিব বেশি দিব আছে তাই সিম্বায়স ক্রেন এনার্জি আর তাদের প্রজেক্ট ম্যানেজার টিমের উপর একজন লাগি আছে সিম্বায়স আউটো মেখানিক একটা আর হেল্পার একটা লাগি আছে তখন তাদের সিডি কিমা দে আর ফোর ইয়ার এক্সপিরিয়েন্স গাড়ি বনা দে ফোর ইয়ার্স এক্সপিরিয়েন্স নাহলে ট্রেনিং লাগি না থাকে তখন দিব মিউনিসিপাল অপারেটর দিয়ে তো একু কোয়ালিফিকেশন না থাকিলে আপনি মাংস কাটি বলে পারি গেলে তখন তো এটা লাগে মালি বি একটা লাগে আর লার্জ কেপার বি একটা লাগে আর ডাঙান সালারি বেশি দিব কয়ে আছে হলে আপনার এক্সপিরিয়েন্স আর আপনার কমিটমেন্ট হিসাব দিয়ে দিব নাবার্ড খান ইয়াদে আছে নাবার্ডে ইয়াদে আমার ডি ডি এম আই কিনে আছে তাই বারা আমানকে কিনে কা নাবার্ড পড়া এগ্রিকাল বেঙ্কিং পড়া কি কি কাম করে কি কি আপনি গান বস্তি দিয়ে নইলে আচ্ছা ক্লাস্টার গ্রুপ আপনি কি কি করলে মন যাব তখন বার ইনফরমেশন দিব এমপ্লয়মেন্ট প্রোভাইডার্স কান বার টু হান্ড্রেড ফিফটি ভেকেন্সিস লো আছে বিপিওস আর হসপিটালিটিতে আর ক্লাস
আৰু খ্রিশ্চান মডেল হাই স্কুল ওখাদে হেডমাস্টার একটা লাগে আছে টুয়েন্টি ফাইভ থাউজেন্ড আর এম এ এম এ আর বি এ বি এড উইথ থ্রি ইয়ার্স হব মেটা জবস উইথ হান্ড্রেড ভেকেন্সিস তাকান সালারি দো টেন থাউজেন্ড টু টুয়েন্টি থাউজেন্ড হব ক্লাস টেন বার লোক না গ্রেজুয়েট তাক অল ওভার ইন্ডিয়াতে তাকান তো বেঙ্কিং বিউটি সেক্টর রিটেল হসপিটালিটি না এডুকেশন প্রাইভেট লিমিটেড ইটো তাদের আরও আলাদা আলাদা কিছু আছে মেনেজার প্রজেক্ট মেনেজার স্টেক ডেভেলপার আর আপনি লাই এক্সপিরিয়েন্স হিসাব তাকান কাম দিব এল আই সি আছে থার্টি ভেকেন্সিস আছে তাকান মৌ সুন্দর লাগে যে আর ক্লাস টেন আপ অফ হলে দিব স্টানওয়ার্ড তো তাকান ফোর ভেকেন্সিস আছে অটো মোবাইল টেকনোলজি আর আলাদা আলাদা কাম দে আর বিটেক পি এস সি আর ক্লাস টুয়েলভ পাস হই না থাকলে তাকান ভেকেন্সিস আছে আর ভেকেন্সিস ওপর দে তাকান ট্রেনিং দিব তো জাস্ট রিপিটিং ইউ কেন গো আজ পর ইউ কনভিনিয়েন্সেস আই হ্যাভ জাস্ট রেড আজ ইভেন কুইকার দেন দ্য অল ইন্ডিয়া রেডিও রিডার বিকজ আই ওয়ান্ট টু সেভ টাইম ইন ইউ স্পিক গেটিং টায়ার্ড অফ মি বাট দেন ইফ ইউ নিড এনি ফার্ডার ক্লারিফিকেশন জানি বলে মন যালে হেল্প ডেস্ক আছে আর মহান কন্ট্রোল রুম তাদের আছে আই কেনা আপনি কান হোটেলে খুশি পাব করনা প্ল্যানিং আর কোয়ডিনেশন কমিটি লা নাম দিবি আর সবকে থ্যাংক ইউ আর জানাই দিয়ে আছে থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাছ Thank you, Sir Tia. Whatever information was given by Sir Tia, you can um, get the information by scanning a QR code which is pasted outside the help desk. So you can do that if you want that uh, for yourself. With that, we come to a close of our inaugural program. Um, our inaugural program will be followed by two plenary sessions. The first plenary session will be held at Conference Hall, which is in the administrative block. We will have speakers from SBI, Labard, and NetFay. They will be mostly talking about financial literacy. The second plenary session will be held here at the auditorium. We will have speakers from Emporium Training and Consultancy Private Limited, IDAN, and Pinnacle Skills. I would like to request the job seekers and also the students to kindly attend the plenary sessions also. And as we break for the plenary session, our chairman, uh, our guests, our invitees, and our, um, yeah, our invitees, they will uh, go for a break, for a tea break at the college cafeteria. We also have tea prepared for everyone here. So I would like to request everyone to partake uh, for the tea, at the tea break. I would like to request our planning committee to kindly escort our chairman to our college cafeteria.